Uh, Stormwater Coalition, we received a report from the Stormwater, Stormwater Coalition today, and I've given that to the board. Uh, it'll be on the agenda for next meeting. Uh, if we do not get together with the coalition and appeal uh, the recent MS4 requirements that were handed out by the EPA um, and join with the, uh, the group to do that, uh, we have not much time, but we do have some time. Um, and next meeting would be important for us to do. Um, they've given us some parameters on size of uh, population and what it's going to cost for uh, membership and so forth. Uh, it's the only thing that we can use to try to hold back the EPA regulations and try to get them tempered. So if you may wish to do that, you may not after you've reviewed this, but I'm bringing it up now because we will put it on the, on the agenda for the next meeting. The other thing is, could you just briefly mm -hmm. explain what MS4 is? Because the public oh. might not understand why we would be interested okay. in MS4. MS4 is the federal regulations, so-called, <clears throat> from the Environmental Protection Agency that regulates stormwater. Um, they have passed a brand new set of regulations, and we are fast approaching to be the only state in the United States that will be regulated directly by the EPA. Uh, and their, frankly, their think tank in Washington is going a little nuts. We have to test <coughs> at least once a year every outfall of every culvert system in the town. If we find any contamination within those outfalls, regardless of what it is or how small or how large it is, we have to clean the outfall and we have to test it every quarter for the remainder of the year. And then we have to keep on cleaning it until we find the source of the contamination and then we have to take care of the source of the contamination, whether it's on public or private property. To give you an idea of what the problem is, <clears throat> when you go down the beach, um, you have a lot of seagull droppings, and they end up getting into the storm drain system and into the harbor. That's going to penalize us for every single unit down there, because they exceed the uh, quantity of material that can be deposited in the harbor. It's going to be very expensive. Uh, we're estimating that to be somewhere in the area of $200,000. We talked about this the other day with some folks who were concerned about it, and they're estimating it's going to cost between two hundred and fifty dollars and $500,000 a year for a town to do this. So it's a very labor-intensive, uh, very difficult situation to get through, and we really don't know what it's going to cost until we actually start performing it. But we're going to have to do these tests on a regular basis. That's going to occupy the wastewater treatment plant personnel, uh, we're going to have to go out and do grab samples on the, on, the, on the street on a regular basis and just proceed through the town with testing. Every time we find something wrong, we're going to have to do a significant amount of work to try to clean it up. Uh, I think a good example would be Westridge. <clears throat> As you know, we, we had found some people uh, taking care of cleaning up their dog leftovers in their yards. <clears throat> and what they've been doing is dumping them down storm drains. That's one of the streets they've been doing it on. And we've cleaned it, and every time we go back in the middle of the night, somebody puts that deposit back in. At one point, one of the catch basins was almost full. And those catch basins are six to seven feet deep. Uh, it had gone all the way down through the drain system and into the marsh at the bottom of the street. We have to clean all of that up at the taxpayer's expense. So uh, these can get to be very expensive propositions. Uh, but that's and it's 261 pages of regulations. Now, why is New Hampshire one of the only states that falls under? Well, I think there's two reasons. <clears throat> one, the state hasn't applied to be exempt. And the reason that I think the, the second reason is that they apply to be exempt, then the state has to make their own regulations. And under the amendment to the Constitution, Article 28A, when they force those in the town, they have to pay for it. If they enact federal regulations, as, as it sits now, they don't have to pay it to the town for anything. It's all of the town, 100% of it. Even the, uh, the uh, divisions regulations in Concord, if there's a, something that has to be done and they have to uh, assign personnel to it, technically we're responsible to pay for those personnel. So that's, I think those are the two primary reasons. So two things. One, we should watch that coalition oh, very closely. closely. And number two, Again, people should not be dumping any kind of waste in a, in a catch basin. Oh, yeah. It's That's not there for that purpose. It can be very expensive on everybody. 
Anybody else? Anything else? Okay. Uh, 